guys, there's been quite a few pompano around, especially on the north coast as well as on the south coast. I'm going to show you two baits that I use quite frequently to catch them. 30 pound nylon, a 4-0 or 5-0 soy hook, that's basically it. Um, preferably silver in colour, hence the baits are going to be our white baits. So you want to try and match your hook color to the bait that we're going to be using. Three-way swivel. Uh, the reason I use a three-way swivel is that the fish actually hooks himself, especially with these sharp soy hooks that we use these days. And a cone sinker because I like a lot of movement. The swivel that I'm using is a size 4 Kingfisher. I'm using Maxima 30 pound and we're going to make our hook snoot quite long for this particular fish about 50 to 45 centimeters in length okay tight on we use the simple figure of eight knot and to do that we basically place our finger inside and we wrap it around three times one two three times Lubricate, slide down, pull tight, cut off our tag end. So basically that's it there and just to make sure, yeah, it's 450. I'm just going to cut it off there, so that's 450 in length. You can make it a little bit longer if you have to. Your sinker trace or your snooting for your sinker is longer. That will be 500, so just let's do it. I'm going to be using a cone sinker with a little clip because I clip most of my baits when throwing. You don't have to, but it's always better to do that, especially when you want to get onto those far banks. Again, just figure of eight, that's all I'm using. Open it up, lubricate, and we just slide it down. Okay, take our hook one, attach to our three-way swivel, one, two, three, there's our figure of eight. We don't use any flotation, although you can, but the pompano feed mainly on the bottom. If you use flotation and a squid bait, float it up, it will work. It's not to say you won't catch the pompano. There we go. Slide down. Cut off the tag end. And I just want to make sure the length should be about right. Okay. Now, the baits that I use for them would be sea lice which is a favorite food source of the pompano, prawn, and of course, squid. I'm gonna do the sea lice one first, so basically just take one sea lice away. Take our squid and cut him down the center. Pull that part out. And I want a long tentacle. That's basically what I'm looking for here. Take the skin off. Take that and I'm going to make a long tentacle and just split it down the center a bit so there's a bit of movement there. Take a chocker hammer and just lightly tap it. It just gives it more movement in the actual bait. A latex cotton and what I do here straight between the groove where I've cut it to over there. And now what I'm going to do is just wrap it with our latex. And this you can tie on quite tightly because you're going to cover it with your sea lice and your prawn. Or your prawn bait that I'll do later on. Okay, so there's your long tentacle that I've got of chocker. I'm now going to take my sea lice 
And what we do is we take the shell off and it's very simple. Just do that. From the back here, you'll see over there. And there is the shell of the sea lice off. Take a hammer and just lightly beat it. Not too much. Just want to try and release a bit more of that smell and that flavor. And what we do is we put the sea lice on with the legs. I don't know if you can see that digger facing downwards. Just makes the bait more aerodynamic when throwing long distance. Quite a bit of cotton onto it. And it's always better, if you can, to use a big one on the top and a smaller one at the bottom. So basically it sits like that. I don't have a smaller sea lice. I've only got a big one, so it's gonna look a little bit odd. Again, just take off the shell. Place him, then down. And because it's a bigger sea lice, I'm gonna squeeze him a bit which I wouldn't do with the smaller sea lice. The smaller sea, sea lice fits in here quite nicely on this bait, if you do it this way. And that should be the end of that. Just take my cotton, that's broken. Okay, so that's double sea lice with a little chocker tentacle in the center. When it hits the ground and sits at the bottom, these little tentacles are still moving at the bottom. It looks like a big sea lice foraging in the sand. Well, that's my opinion on what it looks like. And the smell in that that comes off and the, the juices are unbelievable. What we do is we just clip it like that. And that's basically what the bait looks like. When you throw it, these tentacles will come up might spin a bit in the air unfortunately but that's basically my pompana bait for long distance casting and you're looking to throw it if the tide again very important if the tide is coming in you want to throw it on the front side of the bank if the tide is going out the outside of the bank a lot of times if there's a current going from south to north the best area to target it would be on the actual uh, northern side again if the current is going from uh, north to south, the southern side, because all the particles are getting pushed off, all the sands coming off, and all the sea lice are getting exposed on this side of it if it's a southerly wash. Okay, and that again basically is what you're looking for when you're targeting your, your pompano.